A Kansas mother has been sentenced to 19 years in prison for murdering her two-year-old son because he refused to eat a hot dog. Elizabeth Woolheader of Wichita pleaded guilty to the murder and child abuse in the case of her son, Tony Bunn, who was beaten to death in 2018. In an affidavit obtained by the Wichita Eagle, Elizabeth Woolheader told police that she lost it when Tony didn't want to eat his hot dog for breakfast. The case began on May 4, 2018, when Tony was beaten unconscious while he was home with his mother, Elizabeth Woolheater, and her boyfriend, Lucas Dial. They called 911. Police who arrived on the scene found him unconscious on the living room floor. He was not breathing. According to the affidavit, Woolheater and Dial gave conflicting stories about what happened. Elizabeth Woolheater told police that she lost it when the boy refused to swallow bites of the hot dog she gave him for breakfast. She told police that she slapped him across the face while her boyfriend, Dial, held the food in his mouth. She then said she left the room and heard Dial hitting the boy repeatedly. Dial had a different story. He said he didn't strike Tony. Rather, he said the toddler fell off the bed. According to an autopsy report that was released in court, Tony had injuries that seemed to indicate a pattern of abuse. He had previously suffered a broken rib, arms, and nose. He had also bruises on his face, torso, and buttocks. According to the Associated Press report on Kansas Public Radio, the Department of Children and Families had been alerted that the boy was abused before he died. In June, Dial pleaded guilty to second-degree intentional murder. People Magazine confirms that he was sentenced to 49 years in prison. Elizabeth Woolheater was sentenced to 19 years in prison. The judge who sentenced her reprimanded her during the sentencing hearing. Tony was under your charge, the judge said, according to the Wichita Eagle. Your job was to raise him and protect him. You failed him in the very worst way possible. During sentencing, Woolheater read from a prepared statement in which she expressed remorse for her actions. I know that I'll never be able to make up for or undo the mistakes I've made, she said. I know that I failed my son when he needed me. I do want it to be known that I did love Tony, and I still do with all my heart. Elizabeth Woolheater's plea agreement recommends she receive the maximum sentence possible on each count against her and that they be served consecutively. She was sentenced to 19 years and 5 months. She must serve the full sentence under Kansas law.